So let's talk about a terrible case where something went very wrong because people were hesitant to speak up. July of 1993, young boy came into, eight-year-old boy came into Denver Hospital for a very routine operation to basically have a hole, hole close in his eardrum that was the, was the after effect of having ear tubes as a child. It was a routine operation. They were going to take a cartilage graft, uh, basically close this, uh, this hole in his eardrum. I mean, this is, a, is about as safe a procedure as you can get. It's a simple case. Two very experienced nurses, a very experienced anesthesiologist, but problematic because it's very intimidating, uh, hard to work with. The nurses were essentially scared of him. Brand new surgeon who'd been there three or four months, had never worked with this anesthesiologist. And, and in the course of this case, a, a series of things started to go wrong. There were some issues around the breathing tube or the airway. There was a defective airway heater that basically started to overheat the child. And the team in the room, over the course of about an hour and a half, they kept identifying and addressing basic things that were going wrong. And, but they never got to any resolution about fixing them or actually saying, this is a problem. We need to stop. We need to fix this. And, it, and the whole thing cascaded the two and a half hours into this operation. This little boy died with a temperature of 108 and a CO2 of 200. That was five times normal. And the, pretty, the really sad thing was when I interviewed the nurses after this, who I knew quite well, they said to me, we were just hoping, we were praying we would get out of the room with the child alive. Now, you think about an environment where it doesn't e even feel safe enough to pick up the phone, go in the substerial room in the operating room where the instruments are, and pick up the phone and say, could you have somebody come in this room because we're concerned something's wrong. That was a completely avoidable death. And in fact, there are some very simple things we can put in, in a culture of safety, to say anybody, anytime they have a concern, they need to speak up, that'll be treated with respect, it'll be validated, we'll respond in the appropriate way. Do you think any of the people in that room are ever going to be the same? I don't.